Welcome back to the channel. I've got some incredible 4K slow-mo shots in this video that is absolutely going to blow your mind. The squirrels, though, they had a bit of a break over the last couple of weeks while I was filming a safety video on the power and subsequent dangers of modern-day air guns as a response to the critics who often tell me in the comments to use a real gun, implying that these put out power like the BB guns of our youth. Well, I think we put that to rest last week. But... While doing so, boy, did I make a few air gunners wet their pants, especially on Instagram. Sheesh, the vocal minority there were big mad as they didn't like my choice of targets or perhaps the Leshy Channel style safety video topic in general. Who knows? But the hypocritical hate I was dodging quickly disappeared when Grantham threw a flash grenade into the forums with a great video he did with FX air guns on how air guns are surpassing 22 long rifles in power and accuracy. So yeah, you know what? I was a little busy last week and just completely oblivious to a whole new crew of tree rats invading the yard. And while super violent, the Nasty 9 has manners. So let's pour out a little invite in the form of some peanuts for a little backyard barbecue at the old table for one. Oh, man, does that thing deliver the heat. By the way, let me know what you guys think of the name Nasty Nine. I know I used it before, but this time I really mean it. <laughs> this little air gun delivers a thump. And I'm open to suggestions, so drop some names down in the comments below for what we should name this setup. I'll pick a few from the most liked, and uh, we can vote on one. I'll come up with a way to do it. Uh, maybe even make a shirt design out of it. We'll see. This shot's pretty interesting. Watch as this guy moves just, just before, and the pellet literally went through its eye, through its dome, and he ends up just under its skin, right around the tail. You can see it just after it turns. Watch this. The only real downside of the 9mm Leshy 2 is it thing eats air, and I mean a ton of it. I'm still getting about two mags per, uh, per fill in the 450 millimeter configuration at least, but uh, I'm definitely filling a whole lot more than I typically do. It's the price you pay though for these 9mm energy dumps, and in my mind, 100% worth it. Watch this one. This thing just gets swept right off its feet. This setup is just absolutely savage. I was a little worried about double taps with this gun, as it's definitely got a little kick to it. But after this head heart punch combo here, I was clearly overthinking it. I was a little low at this first one, but don't worry, the second one was right in the money. I bought a bunch of GoPros for last week's video, so get ready for a bunch of new camera angles downrange. Uh, I know some of you guys love these body shots, but the energy from these headshots, whew, just something else. Wait until you see what happens on this black squirrel that I get near the end of this video. Father's Day is coming up, guys, and if you're searching for a cool present for the old man in your life, the longtime sponsor of the channel, Ridge Wallet, is making gifting easy with one of their biggest sales of the year for Father's Day. I've been carrying the Ridge Wallet for over four years now and absolutely love it. But if you were like me and tired of carrying around a bulky, disorganized wallet, then this is the perfect option for you. It's a sleek, minimalist front pocket wallet that is designed to keep your cards and cash organized and safe with its integrated RFID plates. It holds up to 12 cards and it comes with either the cash strap 
or the money clip option on the back, which has always been my preference. There's over 30 plus colors and designs to choose from, and you can find the best Father's Day gift using my link www.ridge.com forward slash eggunleshy. And right now you can save up to 40% through June 15th. Again, that's www.ridge.com forward slash eggunleshy. Thanks again to The Ridge for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. Sun's out, guns out, as the saying goes. So let's get a little Justin Johnson playing along with some 9mm loving. Starting with this one, where I was able to put one through the light switch near the back of the skull, and then it came out the vitals just with a massive exit wound. This guy came down as I was kind of mid-yard cleanup. Uh, I got a few plants in the ground, and then it's time for a little bit of mulch. But first, let me get this guy. I've gotten quite a few emails on which barrel length to go with in the 9mm Leshy 2. In my humble opinion, the 450 is the perfect balance of size and power. This fits in my day pack, but still has enough power for critters up to hogs and coyotes, uh, neither of which I have in my backyard, thankfully. But uh, yeah, I think it's got plenty of power for the squirrels. I'm not sure why, but anytime I get them in the top of the head, man, they bleed like crazy. When we get close up here, I'm going to have to gray this thing out so I don't get my nuts slapped. Oh, just devastating. You can see that go through, hit the tree, and then, yeah, bleeding out. If you guys know why, I have no idea uh, what I'm hitting there that makes this happen, but... Uh, Man, it's like cracking open one of those cans of high C as a kid. It just dumps out. The other thing that's been more frequent is the bubblegum shots. As there's one thing very certain about the Nasty 9, is it sure cleans things out upstairs. And there it is. Sometimes just random pieces of nature's bubblegum appear. Actually, you're going to get back-to-back bubblegum shots. Watch the impact, though, on this one. All the dirt and little hair just goes poof right on impact. This is crazy. Oh, this one got my camera dirty. Right there. This is the shot where you can just see all of that stuff. Look at that cloud of fur, dust, and bubble gum. <laughs> what do you guys think of all these new camera angles? I kind of like them. You know, when I'm filming in slow motion like this and you're seeing those things, you can really kind of understand and help articulate to you guys how powerful these things are and just how effective they are as a tool for pest control. All right, so here's that one I was talking about earlier. It's not that graphic, but man, it just hit dead center and it goes all Popeye mode on us. Watch this shot. Oh, that's 114 foot pounds with zero pass through. So the energy being dumped into that squirrel is just absolutely bonkers. It does not get any more humane than this. Oh. Look at that, both eyes, I mean, that's crazy. If you like shots like this, you should probably watch this video next. <laughs> 